Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah. Ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve men ve la. Welcome everybody to our program tonight on Leylet al-Nisfi min Şaban. And today you're going to learn so much that you've never heard before about uh, the Nisf of Şaban. Uh, thanks to a work by Al-Alama Sanhuri, uh, Sheikh Sanhuri, with a uh, short booklet that I'm going to read to you from, bi'idhnillahi ta'ala. So let's get straight to it. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, the first section is, firstly, what is the names? What are the names of Laylat and Nisfi min Shaban so that we can have an idea uh, of why it's called a certain name, okay? And uh, what we can... Uh, and why it's uh, based upon the name, we can understand its meaning. So Ibn Atta'illah, he says, it's also known as Layla al mubaraka for the reason of Limujawarat al-Mala'ikati wa muqarabatihim, because on this night, the Mala'ika are near to the Mu'mineen. Wa yurwa an Aishata radiallahu ta'ala anha, this is, by the way, a publication from the ulama of Al-Azhar al-Sharif from uh, the eighth century and then reproduced in the last century okay just uh, eighth century hijri and then reproduced in the last century just so that you have an idea so the narration from Sayyidah Aisha she said Sami'atu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul yasahullahu al-khayra fi arba'i layalin sahha wa dhakara minha laylata nisfi min shaban and he said the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he, he calls out and he spreads the good, al-khayr, okay, far and wide on four nights. And one of them is the Nisf of Shaban. And we know this riwayah from Sayyidina Ali. Now we have a second riwayah. It's from Sayyidina Aisha, from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So that riwayah of Sayyidina Ali that some people say, no, 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 we don't use it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, here we have a second riwayah from Sayyidina Aisha quoting the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And in this riwayah, and these four nights are the, fir, the night of the first of Rajab, the two Eids, and Laylat al Nisfi min Shaban. When min asma'iha Laylat al Qisma wa Taqdeer. And from the names of it is the night of division and destiny. Okay? Division and decrees and destiny. Why? Lima ruya an ata ibn yasar, either can it Laylat al Nisfi min Shaban, Nasaha malakul mauti, alayhi salatu wasalam. كُلَّ مَنْ يَمُوتُ مِنْ شَعْبَانِ إِلَىٰ شَعْبَانِ Because on this night, Israel takes the documents and finalizes who will die on this night. Now you might be thinking, well, how does that make any sense? Because who's going to die is written uh, from the past, right? In, uh, in the book of destiny that Allah knows and Allah has. Well, no, the answer is that there are two books. There is Umm al-Kitab. Umm al-Kitab is the book of destiny that is exactly what will occur in this world. And nobody has access to this book. But there is another book called Al-Lawh al-Mahfuz. Al-Lawh al-Mahfuz, which is in the lowest heaven, and everyone can access that book from the Malaika. And that book can be changed. So you might ask yourself, well, what's the point of that? What, what is the point of having two books? One that doesn't change and one that is the destiny that can be altered. Okay. Well, the answer is for Allah Ta'ala to encourage us to do dua, to move us away from this idea of that we're not going to do anything because everything is just written anyway, to show us his rahmah by erasing what would have been willed and by offering possibilities that if this person does this, then will for him this. If this person has done this, then they'll do this. Well, one of the things that Malik al Maut does on this night of Laylat al Nisfi min Shaban in this narration is that those who will die uh, in this coming year, it's finalized. There's no change after this. For this reason, the Prophet used to be fasting. And he said that I would not want my name written except while I'm fasting. Okay. So he says, وَإِنَّ الرَّجُلْ لَيَظْلِمُ وَيَفْجُرْ وَيَنْكَحُ وَالنِّسْوَانُ وَيَغْرُسُ الْأَغْرَاسَ وَقَدْ نُسِخَ إِسْمُهُ مِنَ الْأَحْيَاءِ إِلَى الْأَمْوَاتِ He says that people go about and they do things and they're doing good things and bad things 
not realizing their name has been transferred from the living to the dead. So it's finalized. So as we said, the qadr in it can be changed. It can be altered based upon people's dua, based upon their sadaqah, based upon other things. But on this night, the deaths are finalized. Yeah. The deaths are finalized. He says here, وَمَا مِنْ لَيْلَةٍ بَعْدَ لَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ أَفْضَلَ مِنْهَا And he says, there is no night after Laylat al-Qadr better than Laylat al-Nisfi min Shaban. وَفِي رِوَايَ عَنْهُ أَيْضًا قَالَ إِذَا كَانَ لَيْلَةَ al-Nisfi min Shaban دَفَعَ إِلَى مَلَكِ الْمَوْتِ صَحِيفَةِ فَيُقَالُ اِقْبِضْ مَنْ فِي هَذِهِ الصَحِيفَةِ That on the night of Nisr al-Shaban, Malik al-Mawt is given a, pay, a document with all of the names of everyone who will die that year finalized. No change. As we said earlier, law al mahfud can be changed, but not uh, the deaths after the Nisf of Shaban, from Nisf to Nisf. فَإِنَّ الْعَبْدَ لَيَغْرَسَ الْأَغْرَاسِ وَيَنْكَعَ الْأَزْوَاجِ وَيَبْنِ الْبُنْيَانِ وَإِسْمُ قَدْ نُسِخَ فِي الْمَوْتَى A person will do all this work, farming, marrying, doing all sorts of things, building, but his name has been shifted to the names of those who will die in the coming year. You imagine yourself, I was recently listening to a man, he said that his friend died when he was about 23 years old, 20, 23 years old. So he said that uh, he, he met him half hour before his death. And he thought to himself, the man had a motorcycle accident, died. If you had asked him, how long you think you have to live? He would have said half a century. In reality, he only had half an hour. Right? Death could come at any time. There's no necessarily precursors or warnings. Okay. عن عثمان ابن محمد ابن المغيرة ابن الأخفش قال تقطع الآجال من شعبان إلى شعبان. The lifespans are determined from شعبان to شعبان. Many narrations on this. Okay. And a man will get married and propose for marriage and all these things. Meanwhile, his name is written amongst those who will pass away. And this is that Ibn Abbas narrates that all of the Qadr for the coming year is finalized. On Laylat al Nisfi min All the Qadr is finalized. And that Allah Ta'ala presents, uh, uh, issues this document, and that to those who have to fulfill it on Laylat al Qadr. Yeah. In another narration, it specifies the 27th night of Ramadan. So again, we see all these narrations, the same theme that the Aqdar and the Arzaq and the Mauta and all of these things. Are, narrate, are, are finalized on Laylat and Nisfim and Shaban. So you want to be in a good position on this night, doing ibad and doing something that Allah Ta'ala will look uh, at us with pleasure. وَرُوِيَ أَنَّ عَائِشَةَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَىٰ عَنْهَا قَالَتْ كَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ يَسُومُ حَتَّى نَقُولُ لَا يُفْتِرُ وَيُفْتِرُ حَتَّى نَقُولُ لَا يَسُومُ وَكَانَ أَكْثَرُ سِيَامِهِ فِي شَعْبَان Say, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he would fast and not fast in long stretches such that when he's fasting, Sayyidina Aisha would say, we say that he's never going to break his fast. And then when he's not fasting, we would say, he's not going to fast again. But his, most of his fasting was done in the month of Sha'ban. Okay. So I said, Ya Rasulullah, Araka akthara siyamika fi Sha'ban. I see that most of your fasting is in Sha'ban. Qala Ya Aisha, innu shahrun yunsakhu fihi li malak al mawti مَنْ يُقْبَطْ وَأَنَا أُحِبُّ أَنْ لَا يُنْسَخْ إِسْمِي إِلَّا وَأَنَا صَائِمًا That a document is given to Israel, Malak al-Mawt, with all of those who will die this year. And I will hope that my name is not written except while I'm fasting. وَفِي رِوَايَ عَنْهَا قَالَتْ مَا كَانَ يَسُمُوا تَعْنِ النَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ فِي شَهْرِ مِنْ الشُّهُورِ بَعْدَ رَمَضَانْ أَكْثَرَ سِيَامُهُ مِنْ شَعْبَان The Prophet would not fast more in any month than he would in Shaban. وقال صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم إن الأسماء تنسخ من الأحياء إلى الأموات. This is حديث مرفوع to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم في النساء. Okay, from حديث of أمامة 
that the names of the people are written, that they will live the coming year or die this year. قلت يا رسول الله لما أراك أراك تصوم من شهر شهر من الشهور ما تصوم من شعبان why do you fast so much in شعبان قال ذلك شهر يغفل الناس عنه بين رجب ورمضان people forget about شعبان between رجب ورمضان because رجب is a special month firstly it's one of the sacred months and it gets our attention because رجب is really the introductory month to رمضان think about it. رجب شعبان رمضان this is how we begin. Okay? This is how we begin our fasting, uh, uh, our preparation for fasting. So people forget about it. Okay? And this is the day, the, uh, this is the month that people's deeds are appraised. An appraisal of your deeds are done. Okay? So you're, and I would like for my deeds to be appraised by Allah while I'm fasting. وفي الصحيحين إن تو صحيح حديث بخاري مسلم عن عائشة رضي الله عنها قالت ما رأيت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم استكمل صيام شهر قط إلا رمضان وما رأيته في شهر أكثر صيام من شعبان. He would not fast a full month except Ramadan and not no month more than شعبان. Okay. And in another narration وفي رواية لها كان يصوم جلة. In another narration he would fast all of this month. ومن أسمائها from the names of this month, of this night, the night of takfir, which is the removal of sins. Since Lima Warada and Suki fi tafsiri in Imam Suki, the great Imam Suki, Tajidin Suki, in his tafsir, min ennaha to kafar dhulubas sana. And this year, on this night, a night well spent in ibadah and dua and dhikr will wipe away the sins of the previous year. وَلَيْلَةَ الْجُمْعَةِ تُكَفَّرُ ذُنُوبَ الْأُسْبُوعِ And Jum'a will remove the sins of the previous week. وَلَيْلَةَ الْقَدْرِ تُكَفَّرُ ذُنُوبَ الْعُمْرِ And the Laylatul الْقَدْرِ removes the sins of the entire lifetime. وَمِنْ أَسْمَائِهَا لَيْلَةَ الْإِجَابَةِ And from its names is the night of answers. Ijaba of your da'wah, of your du'a. Lima ruya an ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma qala. Sayyidina ibn Umar, he said, Khamsu layalin la yuraddu fihinna du'a. Five nights, the du'a is never rejected in this night. Laylat al-jum'ah wa awwal layla min rajab. Every Thursday night. This is why Thursday nights, majalis are special. Laylat al-jum'ah. وَأَوَّلْ لَيْلَ مِنْ رَجَبْ The night before, the first night of Rajab, which means Rajab is one, let's say, the first of Rajab is, is Monday, so that would be Sunday. Okay? The night time before Rajab. وَلَيْلَةَ okay. النِّصْفِ مِنْ شَعْبَانِ And the, the, the Nisf of Sha'ban, which is tonight. وَلَيْلَةَ الْعِيدَيْنِ And the two Eids. And so, the ulama say that if a person is in harmony with Allah, one of the signs of this is that they're in harmony with the sacred calendar. And this is, what do we mean sacred calendar? Allah answers dua on these nights. That's amazing. I mean, we have to ask ourselves, what are we living for? You can't live for nothing and have this false taslim, right? This false submission, and in fact, it's laziness. Oh, I just submit whatever Allah wants. Oh, how you would ne if there was a person a millionaire a billionaire says listen uh, I feel like doing an act of charity I need you to, to write me a list you're not going to say oh it's okay whatever no you're going to sit and think and write a list you have not a billionaire but the creator of this universe telling us my abd what is it that you are, you're seeking and Allah will grant it and answer their prayers but Make sure to always say fi khair wa lutfu afia wa salama wa baraka and qualify it all so that we don't ask for anything except the reality of goodness is that Allah blesses what He gives us. Okay? It's not just the ata, it's not just the giving that we're asking for, but the blessing therein. So I'll repeat them again five nights. Previously we said four nights, right? Now it's five nights because. 
the four nights is the annual and the fifth night is weekly. Laylatul Jum'ah, every Thursday night. Awwal Laylam al Rajab, the first night of Rajab. The Nisf of Sha'ban and the two Eids. Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib used to do Qiyam the whole night. Qiyam meaning from Isha, and he would pray a long night, uh, a time in the night. This is Akhraju Abdul Razak fi Musannafihi wal Bayhaqi fi Shu'ab al Imani Mawkufan. وأخرجه الديلمي عن أبي أمامة مرفوعا الديلمي narrates it from أبو أمامة مرفوع to the prophet موقوف means the companion said it مرفوع means the prophet said it said it this these four nights throughout the year is narrated in so many hadiths that they all strengthen each other for a sound meaning let's look at another one خمس ليال لا ترد فيهن دعوة five nights no dua is rejected in it's unbelievable that we claim to have iman and don't spend all night thinking, planning, writing, and praying, okay? I'm telling you, if a millionaire was to come up to you and say, what do you want? I'm at your service, I wanna do charity, and you're my object of charity. You, you would take advantage of it, right? But I'm telling you, out of weakness of Iman is dressed, it's covered, like shaitan yuzayinu al-a'mal. Shaitan, he, he, he adorns wrong actions or false actions with what does he adorn it with a word of truth that's how he adorns a word a wrong action with the word of truth so that means that the person will just say oh, whatever Allah wishes for us okay really that's how you're going to react not how I'm going to react so he repeats it again first night of Rajab the two nights of Eid قال الشافعي سيدنا الإمام الشافعي رضي الله عنه في الأم in his his major his major book كتاب الأم وليلة قال بلغنا أن الدعاء يستجاب في خمس ليالي he repeats it again I'm telling you memorize it youth kids out there someone in the chat let me see who's writing in the chat someone in the chat please write this into the chat so that people can benefit write it in the chat the five nights that دعاء is answered the first night of رجب which means the, the night before day one. Okay, remember in the lunar calendar, night comes before eat, uh, day. Laylat al nisfim and Sha'ban. The two Eids and every Thursday night. In it, the dua is answered. Okay, so Sayyidina Imam al Shafi says the same thing. Women asma'iha, Laylat al Hayat. From the names of the Nisr al Sha'ban is the night of life. Lima rawahu ishaq ibn Rahawai from the narration of Ishaq ibn Rahawai, who is the teacher of Sayyidina al-Imam al-Bukhari. Bisanadihi an Wahb ibn Munabbih, from his chain of transmission from Wahb ibn Munabbih, qala idha kana laylat al-Nisr min Sha'ban, if it is the night of the Nisr of Sha'ban, lam yamut ahadun bayna al-Maghribi wal-Aisha'i l-ishtighali malak al-Mawt. He said, it's noticed that on the night of Nisr of Sha'ban, People don't die between Maghrib and Isha because Malik al Mawt is busy. Okay? He's busy taking the orders from Allah of who will die the previous year. Okay. Because he's going to take the scrolls. Sak is a scroll. It's where we get the word check, actually, uh, from the Lord of the Worlds. Women Asma'iha Laylat Eid al Malaika. From the names of it is the night of the Eid of the angels. لما ذكره أبو عبد الله طاهر بن محمد بن أحمد الحداد في كتاب عنوان المجالس فيما قيل إن للملائكة في السماء ليلتي عيد. The angels have two Eids. كما أن المسلمين من البشر يوم عيد. Just as we have two Eids. فعيد الملائكة ليلة البراء. The Eid of the ملائكة is this night. ليلة البراء. يعني ليلة النصف من شعبان وليلة القدر That's Eid for them Because of how much dua is coming up Because the human being is the Qibla and the Kaaba of the angels Right? We are devoted to Allah Okay? And in order to worship Allah we also help one another We are not devoted to angels There is no good deed of go serve the angels Go make the angels happy That's not like a good deed for us we don't busy ourselves with the angels. But the angels, we are their qibla. We, they revolve around us human beings. Okay? 
And so because so much ibad is going up in these two nights, it's for them Eid. Next. Women Asma'iha Laylat al Shafa'a. And from its names is the night of intercession, Lima Ruya and Aisha Radiallahu Anha, and the Nabiya Sallallahu Alaihi wa Ali Wasallama, Kana Jalis and Fitil Kal Layla, Fanazala Alehi Jibri. Sayyid Aisha says the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was sitting, Sayyidina Jibreel came down. He said, on this night, O Messenger of Allah, Allah has freed from the fire half of your ummah. And from its names is Laylat al-Bara'a. Wa Laylat al-Baraka. Bara'a means uh, you're found not guilty, innocent. Okay? And Laylat al-Baraka, the night of blessing. Wa Laylat al-Ta'zim, the greatness. Wa Laylat al-Qadr. Right, the night of Qadr, power. Walaylat al Ghufran, forgiveness. Walaylat al Itqim al Nar, and the night of forgiveness from the fire. All right, what are some of the benefits? Number one, forgiveness of sins. Rawa al Imam Ahmad fi Musnadi Mursalan. Imam Ahmad narrates Mursalan, meaning skips the Sahabi or skips someone in the chain. And Kathir ibn Murra qala, and Mursal, the Mursal hadith is from the Prophet. A companion's missing. And then it's a second generation Muslim who never met the Prophet, but he's quoting the Prophet. We accept those if that person is a senior second gen tabi, second generation Muslim from the seniors, not from the youth. Okay? Because that means that he would have spent a lot of time with the companions, not a small amount of time. In any event, قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَآلِهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَيُطْلِعُ لَيْلَةَ النِّسْفِ مِنْ شَعْبَانِ فَيَغْفِرُ that Allah Ta'ala on this night he will forgive everyone except two the pagan and the Muslims who are having a fight this is in At-Tabarani wa Ibn Hibban Musnadan Marfu'an they narrate it with the complete chain you see when someone says this hadith is weak yeah, it may be that chain of transmission is weak. The same hadith may exist with a full chain somewhere else. And that's an example that he gave it to us here. Okay. And then means to gaze upon and investigate his servants. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean Allah was not aware of them and then he becomes more aware of them? No, it means that a specific attribute of Allah Ta'ala is coming down upon the servants at that time, which is the attribute of forgiveness. Okay, Just like when we say uh, about the dhakirin, Allah says about him, وَأَنَا مَعَهُ إِذَا ذَكَرَنِي I'm with him if he remembers me. The witness of Allah, Allah is with us at all times. But why this specific? Because there is Allah is with us with different attributes. He's with everyone with his knowledge. Allah has knowledge of everything. But he is not with everyone with his mercy. He's not with everyone with his tawfiq, with his hif, which is protection. He's not protecting everyone. He's not giving sukun or sakina or serenity to everyone at all times. So there is witness, there is different levels that he is with us based on which attribute is manifesting to us. So when he says here, ala he examines them and gazes upon them, right? For a certain purpose. And what is that purpose? Okay. He forgives the mu'mineen. Okay. But those who have hatred in their hearts, he leaves them. So that means the one who's got a feud. You have to abandon your feud if you want to benefit from this night. I could not find the messenger one night. Lo and behold, I went looking for the messenger and found him at the Baqiyah graveyard with his hands up, looking up to the sky, looking up to the heavens. 
فقال أكنت تخافين أن يحيف الله عليك ورسوله uh, were you worried يعني did, you, uh, did, you, did you worry that you would be abandoned قالت ماذا كبي no أي خوف الحيف يا رسول الله لكن ظننت أنك أتيت بعض نسائك he said no I didn't worry that anything bad happened but I thought that you had left me to go to another one of your wives قال إن الله عز وجل ينزل إلى السماء إلى سماء الدنيا ليلة النصف من شعبان فيغفر لي أكثر من عدد الشعر غنم بني كل. He said no, Aisha. On this night, Allah descends to the last heavens of the earth, the final heavens of the earth, and He forgives the more believers than the number of hairs on the animals of the Bani Kel tribe, which means you cannot count the amount of forgiveness and you cannot count the amount of answer of dua. that is happening to people on this special night. Okay. وَخَرَّجَهُ إِبْنُ مَاجَةً إِبْنُ مَاجَةً mentions it فِي سُنَنِهِ بِنَحْوِهِ in a similar narration وَهُوَ أَمْثَلُ مَا وَرَدَ فِي فَضْلِ لَيْلَةِ النَّسْفِ مِنْ شَعْبَانِ وَخَرَّجَهُ إِبْنُ حِبَّانِ فِي صَحِيحِهِ إِبْنُ حِبَّانِ narrates it وَلَكِنْ قَالَ التِّرْمِذِي ضَعَفَ الْبُخَارِي هَذَا الْحَدِيثِ تِرْمِذِي says Bukhari considers it ضعيف so that nobody says Oh, you're all just narrating weaknesses. You don't have the Azhari scholars from the 8th century, okay, from the 8th century of the Hijra, just talking for no reason like this. They have looked at these Asanid so that we can do Iqbal and move into this Ibadah on this night and the, and the Dua on this night with certainty that this is truly what the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. وأخرج الدار قطني أيضا من حديث بكر بن سهل بن عن هشام بن عروة عن أبيه عن عائشة also from عائشة كانت ليلة النصف من شعب من من شعبان ليلتي it was my night the prophet was scheduled to be on to be in my house on that night and the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم slept over فلما كان جوف الليل تفقته بمرضي in the middle of the night I couldn't find him okay أما والله ما كان مرضي خزن ولا قزن ولا حريرا ولا ديباجا ولا قطنا ولا كتانا قيل وما كان قالت كان شعرا ولحمته من أوبار الإبل and she says it wasn't smooth it wasn't soft it wasn't cotton it wasn't had had no silk in it had nothing they said what is it he said she said it was made of hairs from uh, from the uh, uh, camels right hairs and fibers from the إبل فطلبته في حجر نسائه فلم أجده. I went from the houses, looking in the houses of each one of the mothers of the believers, and I could not find him. Okay. فانصرفت إلى حجرتي. I went back to my room. فإذا هو كثوب الساقط على وجه الأرض ساجدا. Lo and behold, he was there, back in my room, making salah, making sujud. وهو يقول في سجوده. سجد لك سوادي وخيالي سوادي وخيالي وآمن بك فؤادي وهذه يدي وما جنيت بها على نفسي long dua okay he says this long dua in Arabic which we're not going to translate It'll take a long time okay and then he noticed and then he cites the dua of Sayyidina Dawood okay وعفر وجهي في التراب لسيدي وحق له أن يسجد وحق له أن يسجد. Okay. ثم رفع رأسه and he calls upon. He said the dua of Dawood. Then he raised his head. اللهم ارزقني قلبا تقيا نقيا لا كافرا ولا شقيا. Oh Allah, grant me a pure heart and more dua. ثم انصرف. Then he stopped. فدخل معي. He came back to the bed. Uh, and he asked, what is this? What happened? ف ف طفق يمسح بيده على ركبتي ويقول ويس هاتين الركبتين ما لقينا في هذه الليلة ليلة النصف من شابان ينزل الله تعالى إلى السماء الدنيا فيغفر لعباده إلا لمشرك ومشاهد so summary Sayyid Aisha could not find him she went to all the mothers of the believers she could not find him there she went back she found him making sujood making a long dua then he came back to the bed and she said what is happening Right? And then, yeah, why today? Why this long dua tonight? He said, Allah descends to the lowest sky of the dunya 
and he forgives. And this is an expression to show that Allah is answering the believers on this day. He's showing more favor to the believers on this day than any other day. And he says he forgives the mushrik, everyone except, sorry, if, except the mushrik and the mushah, except people in a feud and pagans. قال ابن المبارك مشرك meaning like يعني like نام مص سمعت الأوزاع يفسر المشاحن بكل صاحب بدعة المفارق للجماعة يعني أوزاع who is a مجتهد إمام إمام مالك certifies he's a مجتهد إمام he says that the مشاحن is not the individuals that have a fight the مشاحن is the innovator who leaves the path of the Muslims he parts away from them in his beliefs, right? So that he's a sect, which makes sense because mush, what the corollary of a mushrik is a muqtada. So it's a good tafsir. وفي رواية عن الأوزاعي and a narration from الأوزاعي ليس المشاحن الذي لا يكلم الرجل The mushahin is not the argumentative person. إنما المشاحن الذي في قلبه شحناء بأصحاب رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم the mushahin is the one who has hatred to the companions of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَرُوِيَ عَنْ عُمَرْ إِبْنْ هَانِ سَأَلْتُ إِبْنِ ثَوْبَانْ عَنِ الْمُشَاحِنِ Another saying, I asked who is the mushahin? هُوَ التَّارِكُ لِسُنَّةِ نَبِيهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم. It's the innovator. The one who prefers anything other than the way of the Muslims and the way of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. And another one, الطاعن على أمته السافك دماء The one who has betrayed the Muslims and fights them. وأخرج الإمام أحمد في مسنده من حديث ابن اللهيعة ابن اللهيعة of course controversial figure but he was a good, he was a صالح but in hadith he's a righteous man but in hadith they have a lot to say about him. With his senate from Abdullah bin Umar رضي الله عنهما أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم قال يطلع الله تبارك وتعالى إلى خلقه ليلة النصف من شعبان. Allah gazes upon His servants in the middle of شعبان. فيغفر لعباده. He forgives them except the مشاحن or the killer of another soul. You see here the علماء have brought you. There's two reasons here. They repeat to you the narration so that you never forget it. Like we repeated the same thing like five six times, but you never forget it, right? After that, also to show you how many times the same thing has been said and by whom so that you can have the confidence that this is true. Okay. Here is something beautiful. Laylat ijabat dua The night of the ijaba of dua. Who doesn't want their dua answered? Okay. An Abi Darda radiallahu anhu and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala Abu Darda was a big zahid and a big alim Big time. The Sayyidina Omar sent him to Jerusalem and to Damascus to teach Abu Darda. The, the merciful descends. It gives you the feeling that Allah is near us tonight. Okay. He gazes upon the deeds of people. He forgives those seeking istighfar. Sometimes you're in a phase of your life, you're just repenting. You just feel so filthy about your past and so upset about your past. All you, you know, I don't want anything except forgiveness. He forgives them. And those saying, oh, Allah, I want to change my ways, he accepts from them and he causes them to change their ways. And he answers those who are asking because not everyone's the same and you're not the same all the time either. Sometimes all you want is forgiveness. Sometimes all you want is to change your ways. Maybe you're an have an addiction of some sorts. You need to change your ways. Maybe you can't come bring yourself to do the right thing. All right? You want to change your ways. That's mustaghfir wa ta'ib. Okay? And sa'il. Sometimes Allah puts in your heart a desire. Why is it there? Allah alam, it's just there. Okay? But you just seem hajatan fi nafsi yaqub. As the Quran says, some, something has entered the heart of a person. And Allah says in the Quran, it's a, a desire that entered the heart of Yaqub, a need. All right? And he just wants Allah to fulfill it. This is the sa'il. And those who rely upon Allah, they say, Oh Allah, I don't know what to ask. Okay, I don't know what to ask. I leave it to you. If he suffices them. Okay. 
ويدع أهل الضغائن لا يفعل بهم شيئا من ذلك and he leaves the people of discord for the ummah those who cause problems for the Muslims he leaves them he doesn't do any of this for them that's why it's so important if you want your dua to be answered don't be a problem maker all right cause trouble for the Muslims if you have an itch and you want to cause trouble and you like to fight and you like to rabble rouse there are many Zionists you could go do that with Modi has many issues you can go fight him and his followers go fight with them all day long okay uh, I well I never see the people who cause trouble for the Muslims also causing trouble for them it's like the Khawarij were very nice the Kharijite sect they're like peaceful with the pagans and give the Muslims trouble subhanallah right so it should be the opposite ويغفر الذنوب جميعا لمن شاء إلا لمشرك أوقات النفس and he forgives sins for everyone except the pagan and the killer, the murderer, without haq. Of course, there's murder with haq, with a rightful killing. Someone comes to your house to steal and to kill you, you're allowed to kill them. So it's not that. وَمِنْ حَدِيثِ عَبْدِ الرَّحْمَانِ بْنِ سَلَامِ بِسَنَدِهِ عَنْ عُثْمَانِ بْنِ أَبِ الْعَاصِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَ عَنْهُ قَالَ قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَآلِهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِذَا كَانَ لَيْلَةَ النِّسْفِ مِنْ شَعْبَانِ The Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم said If it is the night of the middle of شَعْبَانِ وَذَهَبَ ثُلُثُ اللَّيْنِ And a third of the night has passed In other words, deep into Isha Past Isha So what is the night? Not Isha Maghrib to Fajr That's what the night is Maghrib, sun is set Fajr, sun rises The light of the sun comes Okay So that's how we calculate From Maghrib to Fajr يَنزِلُ اللَّهُ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَى إِلَى السَّمَاءِ الدُّنْيَا Allah comes down to the sky of this world. فَيَقُولُ هَلْ مِنْ دَاعٍ فَأُجِيبُ Is there anyone asking anything so that I may give it to him? هَلْ مِنْ دَاعٍ فَأُجِيبُ هَلْ مِنْ مُسْتَغْفِرٍ فَأَغْفِرُ لَهُ Is there anyone seeking forgiveness? Making istighfar. Istighfar. I forgive his sins. هَلْ مِنْ تَائِبٍ Anyone wants to turn to me and change their ways? فَأَتُوبُ عَلَيْهِ So I will relent unto him. فَيَغْفِرُ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِلَّا زَانِيَةً تَكْسِبُ بِفَرْجِهَا He forgives everyone except for the prostitute. أَوْ عَشَّارًا هُوَ الَّذِي يَأْخُذُ الْعُشْرَ بِغَيْرِ وَجْهِ حَقٍ Or the illegal taxation. Someone who taxes the people illegally. عَشَّارًا He takes a tenth of their wealth without a right to do that. أَوْ رَجُلَا بَيْنَهُ وَبَيْنَ أَخِيهِ شَحْنَا Or a man, رَجُلًا Two men arguing. So you notice here, different things are mentioned. So when different things are mentioned, what do you do? You avoid all of it. وَرَوَى مُحَمَّدِ بِنْ عِيسَى إِبْنْ حِبَّانِ بِسَنَدِهِ The great Ibn Hibban. أَنَّ أَبَى سَعِيدِ الْخُدْرِ The companion, Abu Sa'id al-Khudri رضي الله تعالى عنه دخل على عائشة رضي الله عنها فقالت عائشة He entered in upon Sayyid Aisha. Sayyid Aisha said, يَا أَبَى سَعِيد حدثني بشيء سمعته سمعته من رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. Narrate to me something you heard of the messenger صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم. وحدثك بما رأيته يصنع. A trade. You tell me what you heard from the prophet. I'll tell you what I saw him doing in his house. Because certain things he would see, she would not see. Like what happens in battlefields, or maybe privately amongst the men. Certain things the other companions would not see. Say that Isha would see. A trade. Yeah. قال أبو سعيد أبو سعيد الخدري سأل كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم إذا خرج إلى صلاة الصبح if he comes out for fajr قال اللهم لم أملأ سمعي نورا والله fill my sight with light وبصري نورا and my uh, sorry my ear my hearing with نور and my بصر with نور ومن بين يدي نورا and in front of me نور ومن خلفي نورا and behind me نور وعن يميني نورا and on my right نور وعن شمالي نور on my left نور ومن فوقي نورا ومن تحتي نورا وأعظم النور برحمتك he asked for light all around him what does it mean light we when light is mentioned it means guidance it means understanding and it is a مادة لطيفة a very subtle material that brings سكينة and رشد and nur, if you want to know, it is a substance, a very subtle substance that we don't see, but we feel its effect. What is its effect? Sakina, serenity and calmness, and on top of that, guidance, a rushd, 
understanding. A rushd is more general than guidance. Like guidance is in the deen. A rushd is in the deen and in the details of life that may not have a ne- necessarily have a religious ruling upon it. So that the person is constantly in line with the divine will. Okay. It's also known as Laylat al itzqi min al nar the night of freedom from the fire. Okay. The night of freedom from the fire. Sayyidah Aisha said, Dakhala ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, fa wada'a anhu thawbay. Dakhala alayya. The Prophet entered in upon, uh, upon me. Okay. And he took his garments off. Thumma lam yastatim al qama fa labisahuma. Then, like his, the garment that he would wear for the people. Then he didn't last long, he put it back on. And he left. So I became very suspicious that he's going to one of the other, what she calls Suway Hibati, my other small, my other friends. Okay, which means the other mothers of the believers. I went to look for him, but I did not find that he was going to visit any one of the other mothers of the believers. Rather, he was at the graveyard. Seeking forgiveness for the believers and the martyrs. And she said, You are seeking your Lord, and I'm seeking this world. Right. So I left and I went back. Okay. But I was upset, she said. I, my, my, I was, yeah, my nafs was high. The Prophet said, so what is this, O Aisha? She said, O Master of Allah, I would sacrifice my mother and father for you. You came, you took your clothes off. Yani you're not all of your clothes, just like your outer garment off. You didn't stay for a long time and you left. Okay. So I got upset. I thought you may have went to the other mothers of the believers until I found you at the graveyard, okay? Doing what you were doing, okay? He says, Aisha, do you think, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do something wrong to you? This is your night. I'm not gonna cheat you. Do you think Allah and his messenger will cheat? They won't cheat, okay? She said, Atani Jibreel. He says, because at that moment when he had taken that garment off, Jibreel came down and he said, Ya Muhammad, هذه الليلة ليلة النصف من شعبان. This night is the night of the nisf of شعبان. فيها عتق عتقاء من النار. It has those in it is freedom from the fire by the amount of hairs on the animals of the bani kal. لا ينظر الله فيها إلى مشرك ولا إلى مشاهد. Allah Taala will not gaze upon a pagan or two people fighting, or a heretic, or in another one the prostitute. And the illegal taxer and the murderer. Okay. Or someone who cuts off his kinship bonds. Okay. Or someone who's addicted to alcohol. Mudmin khamr. All right, we're actually jammed on time, so let's bring the Qari Zahid in. And the rest of it, I'll give a very brief summary while Qari Zahid comes. Okay, it was really the last part. How do we give life to this night? Rawa Abdul Razak ibn Hammam and Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam aqala Ida kana laylat al-nisfi min sha'ban faqumu laylaha wa sumu naharaha If it's the night of sha'ban get up it's night and fast it's day in Allah azza wa jal yanzilu fiha li ghurub al-shamsi fayakulu ala min mustaghfir fa'afiru la ala min mustarzaq fa'arzuqu because on this night Allah comes down who's seeking repentance who wants wealth who wants who has a test that they want removed who wants forgiveness who wants this who wants this from the companion Mu'adh من أحيا الليل الخمس الليالي الخمس whoever gives life to the five nights وجبت له الجنة he will earn paradise because he's a true believer ليلة التروية وليلة النسف من شعبان and he narrates all five nights I'm going to repeat it again 
the two Eids, the first of Rajab, the Nisf of Sha'ban, and every Thursday night. وَرَوَى مِنْ حَدِيثِ عُمَرْ إِبْنِ عُثْمَانِ إِبْنِ كَثِيرِ إِبْنِ زِيَادِ بِسَنَدِهِ أَنَّ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ قَالَ مَنْ أَحْيَا لَيْلَةَ النِّسْفِ مِنْ شَعْبَانِ وَلَيْلَةَ الْعِيدَيْنِ لَمْ يَمُتْ قَلْبُهُ يَوْمَ تَمُوتُ الْقُلُوبِ Whoever gives life to these nights, his heart will not die on the day that hearts die. Okay. How else can you give life to this night? Salat al tasabih Okay. He mentions here, Salat al tasabih that the Prophet have taught Sayyidina Al-Abbas, okay? And in general, a night of salah and dua, okay? And he mentions many other ways in which the night can be given. That anytime they say, Ihya al-Layl means generally in many different ways giving life to the, to the night, okay? And to pray for rak'ahs of qiyam. Taqra'u fi kulli rak'ah. This is now, he's just, he's talking about how to do salat al tasabih We're not going to get into that. But Salat al-Tasabih is, a night, is uh, something that's done often on this night. Okay, Salat al-Tasabih. All right. That's your summary and a lot of details on the blessed Laylat and Nisri min Shaban, which we should take advantage of and not waste it doing anything else. Uh, and really, it's the... Truly, you start feeling that Ramadan is around the corner because it's only 14, 15 days after that. And then there is a famous dua, Ma'thur, we can't go over it now and translate every line of it, but you can probably, it's very well known. It's not long, it's not a long dua. It's only about two pages, uh, one page in length, but um, I will, inshallah, turn the mic over to Qari Zahid. Alhamdulillah, I finished everything in this book. We finished the whole book, short booklet. Um, and inshallah, we will turn it over uh, to Qari Zahid.